Hi, how are you? It's Travis in here, and welcome back to our adventures in Diablo 4 Season 1. Today, we are back up in Skolsglen, and we are going to be doing a dungeon today Not in town. called Old Stones. That was my scuffed version of a Scottish accent. I think Skolsglen is supposed to be somewhat like Scotland. I don't know, but can't do that here. it's just a guess. And we'll check out the aspect we're going to get from here. What I'm doing right now is just picking up aspects that we are going to need for the Twisting Blades build. The faster we get this build going, the faster we'll get to World Tier 4. Oh, here we go. The wolves are after us. Alright, off to old stones we go. Let's check out the aspect. Skills, Edge Master's aspect. Skills deal up to 10% increased damage based on your primary ava available primary resource when cast. Dealing the maximum benefit while you have full primary resource. Alright, so let's pick this up. I think we put this on one of our weapons. All right, so let's go. Let's get a consumable going, guys. Weak iron barb elixir. And we have to return the stone carving to the pedestal. We got some goat men in here. We weren't able to save her life. We were a little too late. I wonder if you can be fast enough to save her life in this dungeon. Enemies are going to drop more gold. An okay shrine. Oh, look, we got a malignant heart. I got wrecked. All right, see what kind of cage chart we got here. Cage Heart of Determination. It's one of the resource draining effects. Gives you increased uh, resource generation. Pretty much just getting the same same hearts. Nothing too great. I wonder if we can use these in here. Let's try. No. I think we can only use them in uh, the malignant tunnels. We go we got the pedestal we're going really fast here i like it Let's check up here. all these guys up. Yeah. 
All right, find out where the pedestal goes. Well, that's good. Oh man, things are getting wild in here. A little too wild. <laughs> Oh no, not you again. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, maybe we can beat him this time by like LOSing this way. The thing is, he doesn't like. He doesn't like fall for any of my traps or. It's too hard for us, man. My druid does a better job fighting him, but like he, my druid can't kill him either at the moment because he just, I don't know, heals too much. He's tough now. It's going to be a good day when we eventually beat the Butcher. Beat him on my druid twice, but... That was before the patch. Spot to do uh, shadow damage. to level 22. A little bit more man animus to go. I 
need more time. What is this like? Oh, he destroyed it. <laughs> like they had like a prisoner on there. So we must have missed a spot. Probably up here. So we don't have enough animus. It's probably like one elite we missed. We gotta backtrack. It's good we got a lot of movement speed though. Doesn't take us too long. There he is. And there's a goblin there, dude. Don't let him go away. Nice, we stunned him. No, don't die. Don't die. We're dead. No way. Where is he? No, you're not going anywhere. Dude, we caught him. I thought we almost lost him there. All right, ready to go. Yes. All right, so what should we take? Mix shadow imbuement. Enemies infected by shadow imbuement take 12% increased non-physical damage from you for eight seconds or blended shadow imbuement. Shadow imbuement, primary explosion makes Enemies vulnerable for two seconds. Both pretty good. I kind of like the 12% increase non physical damage for eight seconds. Two seconds isn't a very long time. Alright, here we go. Boss time, guys. Yeah, this guy again. We seem to fight this guy all the time. Kazra Abomination. Taking him down pretty quick. I'm not ready. I'm charged there. There we go, we now have the Edge Master's aspect. Yeah. It's another one down. Alright, where to next? There is another dungeon in Skosglen for another aspect that we want. I think it's just north of here. And I should get the, the fast travel points as well. Okay, so the next dungeon's up here. It's called Jalal's Vigil, and we get the Blade Dancer aspect. Twisting Blades orbit for a short time after they return to you, dealing 10% of Twisting Blades return damage per hit based on the distance of the blades returned. The orbit damage increases up to 20% of the return damage. It's pretty cool. It's clearly a Twisting Blades aspect. We'll go here first. Should get the... 
the waypoints along the way. There we go. We found the Great Northern Plains. Well, the next one's over here. Sure, we collect this stuff. We're gonna need more Galavine for the the weak potions that we got. I should probably find a a blacksmith to get rid of our stuff, or at least a vendor. I haven't really checked the gear either, so maybe some of it's an upgrade. Alright, so here we are. Looks like they got everything you want here. Got the waypoint. We are in Termire. Or Termare. So what upgrades we got? These pants are, seem Come to be an upgrade. Plus one rank of poison trap. Depends on the amount. 20 armor? Is that really worth I don't know. Probably not. A lot of armor there. We don't use caltrops, though. Yeah, I don't think that's worth either. Probably all this gear is junk. We'll just sell it all. Hard bargain. Oh, damn it. I sold that. The heart. I want to keep the heart at least. Try to get like a million gold. It's gonna take a while though at this level. You don't really get a lot of gold for the loot. Alright, so let's make our way up to the dungeon now. Oh, we found uh, an infested pit. We should go in. I wonder if this is considered a cellar. Or is this one of these malignant areas? Yeah, it's a cellar. We got need, more time. need to do like another nine or ten of these. Oh, oh wow, look at that. It's one hell of a cellar. This is going to be awesome. Look at all those maggots going to get wrecked. <laughs> Didn't even use the shadow uh, viewment. Should have. Alright, infested pit complete. Treasure Goblin. Probably use this shot I'm doing here. in this dungeon. <laughs> Ah, 
Alright, so this kind of reminds me of, uh, Alder with Been fighting a lot of Grizzlies. Worgen. And these porcupine guys. Oh well. Oh no. I can't believe you ran into that. Got a shrine over here. Breed shrine. Frozen, gotta watch out for that. Play the Corrupted Chargers. That rogue's a lot of fun. Kind of just fly through these dungeons. There we go. Kind of a really good spot here.
Like, you just wreck a room so fast. Thing is, we are fighting stuff for our level. Eventually, we'll be fighting stuff 10 levels higher, so it's going to be much harder. I, need more time. I do notice that we don't have a lot of survivability, though. We can get one shot pretty damn quick. Oh, we got tier 25 reward to claim. And people have been complaining about uh, the activate battle pass button being here. Like, people try to click on their seasonal blessings. How do you get this? Smoldering Ashes unlock at reward tier 8. And you can get Urn of Aggression, boost XP earned from kills, boost gold, boost chance of rare materials, boost... The duration of all elixirs boosts the chance of powerful malignant heart drops. Heart drops after completing the campaign. That'd be a pretty good one. Where the heck's my... Smoldering Ash. We have Smoldering Ash. Reach level 56 to unlock. Reach level 53. Reach level... So once we reach level 40, we can use some Smoldering Ash. Okay. I wonder what we should use it on. XP boost? Or should we just use it on her? I think it's either XP boost or Urn of Malignant. Those are like the best two. Gold's whatever. Rare materials, whatever. Elixir duration? I don't know. I don't even think that's a big deal. Alright, so let's keep leveling up uh, Shadow and Demon. XP is worth, though. God oh, damn it. Got hit in the trap. It's not good. Oh, nice. You get a malignant heart here. See what we got. Cage Heart of the Lionheart. So this is the barrier one. Game barrier regen. It's not bad. Keep getting the same one, so. I think it's because of our level. Eventually you get a higher level, you get better hearts. It's probably why you should just go XP. And then just go barrier hearts later. Go Shalal. It looks like we found the boss man, Bramble. I don't think I've ever fought this guy. He 
keeps puking on uh, my shadow. It's kind of funny. He just did it again. That ability probably does so much damage. There we go, Jalal's Vigil complete. Now we have the Blade Dancer aspect. So let's head back to town. Let's see if we got any upgrades. Didn't get any legendaries, though. Not looking too good here. Maximum light control. That's a pretty good. Those are good pants. 40 more armor plus those three stats. It's pretty good. 5% movement speed, 2% healing received, 2.1% cooldown reduction. I think this, yeah, this next way better. Yeah, our next that we got already got. It's pretty good. A little bit more damage on this bow. And then everything else, I assume, is just Not in town. junk. They really got... Ex I keep saying this, but they, they need to allow people to use abilities in town. It's kind of silly that they don't. don't. Alright, guys. Well, that is going to be the end of today's episode. We got a couple new aspects. Next episode, we'll continue our aspect grind. And potentially, we will try to get some dungeons done that give us uh, Grim Favors. So we can get more caches from the Tree of Whispers. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later. Later.